welcome to science easy tech channel in this video we are going to discuss about transfer of learning which comes under unit 3 that is cognitive processes already we have posted many videos with related to psychology for bsc nursing students and post basic bsc nursing students if you have not watched those videos i have given the link in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to see in this video. Transfer of learning. Under transfer of learning, we are going to see only definition, types and factors influencing transfer of learning. Okay, and factors influencing transfer of learning. So, transfer of learning. So, transfer of learning or training is a process by which learning or training in one situation is carried over or transferred to other situation. So, one learning will be helping in learning of other thing. The knowledge what you have obtained from biology in your 10th plus 2 everything will help you to focus. The same knowledge is going to help you to learn in nursing okay so in this way the learning in one situation is going to help the learning in other situation that is called as what transfer of learning example the learning of addition and subtraction helps a child in learning multiplication and division so what is uh, multiplication is repeated addition okay what is uh, division division is repeated subtraction okay so learning of mathematics helps in solving the numerical problems in physics the mathematics knowledge physics also you have some problems no so that you can solve by means of the knowledge what you have gained in mathematics and simple thing with related to nursing also i have given the learning of biology helps in learning of nursing science moving on to the definition of transfer transfer refers to the transfer of knowledge training and habits acquired in one situation to other another situation so the learning the transfer everything what you have learned in one situation will be helping or transfer to other situation so the carryover of the habits of thinking feeling or working of knowledge or of skills from one learning area to another is usually referred to as the transfer of learning the skills from one learning area to another learning area which is usually referred to as transfer of learning this definition was given by crow and crow in the year 1973 whereas the first definition with regard to transfer which was given by sorensen 1948 so moving on to the types of transfer of learning there is no guarantee that learning in one situation will be always helping you to learn in other situation it may not be the so it may not be the same as uh, you can tell that one situation learning will be helping in other situation learning it may or it may not help so having learned to pronounce but correctly you cannot expect the uh, child will also pronounce put correctly the child can pronounce but easily but the child may have difficulty in pronouncing put okay so transfer is said to be in the following three forms either it can be positive transfer negative transfer or zero transfer so let's see one by one positive transfer transfer is said to be positive when something previously learned habits performance or learning in a new situation example if one has learned to play tennis it is easy for them to play badminton which was more or less it is same okay so when you are uh, we having a learning or training in uh, playing tennis you can easily play badminton also so this is what learning in one situation will be facilitating learning in other situation that is called as positive transfer negative transfer when something previously learned hinders performance or learning in a new situation we call it negative transfer for example in india we find that the pronunciation of english words varies from region to region based on the mother tongue the slang will be shown in english also tamil people have different english pronunciation telugu people will have different english pronunciation malayalis will have different english pronunciation um, marathians will have different english pronunciation gujaratis will have different in 
english pronunciation so there uh, they will have some sort of uh, mother tongue slang in that english pronunciation so this is what is called as negative transfer zero transfer in case the previous learning makes no difference at all to the performance of learning in a new situation that is called as zero transfer example learning history may neither help nor hinder the learning of economics learning history and learning economics are different to extremes so history learning doesn't have a connection with economics learning so it is not going to promote economics learning or it is not going to hinder economics learning so this type of learning is called as transfer is called as zero transfer what are the factors influencing transfer of learning many factors influence the amount and direction of transfer of learning up out of that two important factors are similarity of responses similarity of stimuli either the stimuli should be same or the responses should have some similarity okay so when both the stimuli and responses in tasks are similar learning of one facility is the learning of the other when both stimuli and responses are different the learning of one has no effect on the learning of other if responses are identical but stimuli are different the learning of one aids in the learning of the other talks at maximum negative transfer is observed when the stimuli are the same but the responses are different so either the stimuli should be same and the responses should be same then learning will be taking place or when both the stimuli and responses are different the learning will be having no effect okay that is zero transfer if responses are same but stimuli are different also learning will be taking place either stimuli should be same or response should be same so learning will be taking place okay, okay. when stimuli is different responses are different or means no learning will be taking place so maximum negative transfer when it is observed when the stimuli are same but the responses are different some other factors which are going to affect your learning process or degree of transfer is greatly related to the degree of intelligence if you are too much intelligence if you are going to have very good skill knowledge okay then uh, the transfer will be taking place very fast so you will be applying some principles what you have learned earlier in a new situation next is formation of attitudes and ideals help one to transfer the knowledge and the skill from one situation to another so formation of attitudes and ideals help one to transfer the knowledge and skill of what he has learned from one situation to another based on his attitude based on his ideals okay it helps in transfer next to proper study habits has to be developed by the students so that way uh, in various situation they can apply the knowledge what they have learned earlier or transfer relies heavily on meaningfulness of materials so your transfer aptitude test and all i have told no proper study habits to be developed aptitude test and all you have to apply the various skills what you have learned integrated learning okay so you have to put all your knowledge when you are solving those type of questions next transfer relies heavily on meaningfulness of material so you have to find the meaning out of the material what they have given methods of teaching student centered method of teaching will help the to know the relationship between things so the student centered teaching helps in facilitating the relationship between the various materials or things what has been given so these are all the various factors which helps in what uh, transfer of learning or which facilitates transfer of learning next video will be based on theories of transfer of learning hope this video has given a uh, short and uh, clear uh, description about transfer of learning if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel